Good evening. I would like to make a toast, so grab your glasses and make sure that there's something in them. Now, who would have ever thought that Kay would be able to find a man that could handle her crazy self, much less want to settle down and get married to her, am I right? Well, most of you probably know me, but if you don't, my name is Kelly and I'm Kate's best friend. Through Kate, I've also spent a good amount of time with Brayden, and I'm happy to say that I've become good friends with him as well. I still remember the day that Kate called me saying that she had met the cutest and sweetest guy ever and that she thought she was instantly in love. I had no clue what to expect because, well, Kate has brought home some interesting guys before, but to my surprise, when I met him, he was super sweet and he treated her so well. When I found out that they were engaged, I knew that I would be speaking at the wedding, so I began to think about what I would share with you all, and I decided that I would share with you some of my favorite memories that I've had with Kate throughout the years. The most memorable time I had with Kate was when we went to Hawaii together on our high school soccer trip. For a week, we had the time of our lives together, exploring the main streets of Hawaii, making best friends with the hotel and restaurant staff, and just having the best time with our friends. Because of how crazy and energetic we are, we probably got asked if we were drunk by five or six random people during one of the nights, and we weren't drinking at all. Little did we know that we would still be making stupid decisions and acting wild together 10 years later. But these days, well, alcohol is indeed involved. Another time that I will never forget is that when we went driving around the middle, in the middle of the night and got pulled over by the cops while on the Indian reservation. With their guns drawn, they approached the car and we were freaking out so much. For those of you who don't know about the Indian reservations, they have their own police and are super strict about outside people hanging out on the reservation at night. Because Kate was 16, they had to call her dad, but he didn't answer and somehow we were able to get out of it. And still to this day, we vow not to go back onto, onto the Indian reservation ever again. These two memories are just a tiny fraction of all of the adventures and experiences that we've had together. Kate, I love you so much and I appreciate our friendship more than you could ever imagine. I'm so glad that you found the love of your life and that you have been able to have a beautiful day celebrating together. If I would have known 10 years ago that you were going to find someone that fit every description on your list, I would say that you were crazy. But Brayden, you are everything she has ever wanted in a guy and more. Thank you for treating my best friend like the queen that she is. You make her the happiest girl in the world, and there's no one that I'd rather see my best friend get married to. Kate and Brayden, today you guys solidify your bond together and officially begin your family. And as hard as, as it is for me to give you up, Kate, to Brayden, I'm super excited to see you and Brayden blossom and live together in happiness. So here's a toast to you guys. May your relationship be full of love and happiness. I can't wait to see all the memories that you guys create together. Cheers.